This is another video by 358studios.com for all your high quality digital media. Hey, welcome back. This is part two of a two part series on how to replace your hard drive when it crashes and burns on your MacBook Pro. So let's get started. Press your start button. And when you do that, hold down the command, the option key, and the R. Hold those down until you see the internet recovery screen come up. Then it's gonna ask you for your connection to the internet. A wireless connection through Wi-Fi. You're gonna have to pick which one that is. Probably the one that you have set up at your house. If you have a password set up for that, this is where it will ask you to enter the password for your wireless connection. Remember, this is typically the wireless connection that you've been connected to the whole time. All you need to do is tell the computer which one to look for and what the password is. Now, after you do that, the computer's gonna go ahead and load up some files from the internet. This could take a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up for you. The next screen is gonna be choosing your language. Go ahead and do that. Now, this is the most important screen. Do not choose to start up the operating system. We're not ready for that yet. You have to choose disk utility because we need to go in and we need to format this new disk so that the Mac Book Pro can read the disk and install the operating system. So without formatting the disk, it actually won't see it and uh, you can't install the operating system. So through disk utility, choose the new hard drive that you just put in. Go ahead and name it, whatever you'd like to name it. You'll get some dialog boxes that warn you against formatting. Those are perfectly fine. This is a brand new drive. There's no data on it. Go through the dialog boxes, and then when it's done formatting, you will end up with back to the screen where it talks about the operating system. Go ahead and restore operating system or the OS X. It will download some stuff from the internet. Now, keep in mind that this is happening really fast in this video, but likely it's gonna take about a half an hour for this to happen at your house, all dependent upon your internet speed. After you get the install succeeded, it will go ahead and reboot itself, and you should have a brand new, fresh MacBook Pro with a new hard drive in it. And hey, if you have any doubt that this is working correctly, let me just tell you that I'm doing this whole video on the MacBook Pro that you're seeing in the video itself. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, please subscribe to our channel or like and share this video to anybody that you think this may be helpful for. Thanks again and have a great day.